In this video, we will discuss the problem non overlapping intervals. So, the problem basically says that we will be given a 2D array of intervals where the first part of the interval, first part of the ith interval represents the starting of the ith interval and the second part represents the ending of the ith interval. For example, if we have been given a pair 1, 2, so 1 is representing the starting part, 2 is representing the ending part and same goes for the rest of the intervals also. Now the question says that we have to return the minimum number of intervals that we need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. -over so let us understand what do we mean by overlap here. Suppose that we have got uh, two intervals, let's say we have got one interval like 1, 7 and another interval is let's say 5 comma 10 here now do these two inter uh, do these two uh, now do these two intervals overlap yes these two inter uh, intervals definitely overlap now why do they overlap because you can see that the ending time of this interval is greater than the starting time of the next interval so that is why these two intervals will definitely overlap with each other so such such intervals will be called as overlapping intervals also one more thing if there is uh, an interval which is like 1 comma 5 and another interval is another interval is 5 comma 10 so suppose you have got one interval 1 comma 5 another another interval is 5 comma 10 now these two intervals do not overlap why because like this interval is ending at 5 another interval starts as 5 so in this problem we will not consider this as an overlap here okay so let's see the first test case here like how we are counting the final answer so if you will see the first test case is basically 1 comma 2 then we have got what we have got uh, 1 comma 3 also uh, okay, then we have got 2 comma 3. So I'm writing this in the sorted format of ascending order. Why? So that we can uh, iterate for the intervals from the uh, starting till the ending in a number line format. So then we have got this and then we have got this interval. Now if you see here, what will happen is when I look closely at the first and the second interval. So first inter interval is 1 comma 2, second interval is 1 comma 3. Now you can see here that there is an overlap. Why? Because I can definitely say that this interval is ending at 2 and the next interval is starting at 1. So this means that uh, before the first interval ends, the next interval is also trying to start. So this is an overlap. Now since this is an overlap, so I'll consider this as the very first overlap here. Okay, so I'll consider it as an overlap. Now if you consider this an, uh, as an overlap, later on this interval and this uh, interval will not be overlapping. Why? Because I have told you that if, uh, if for, uh, for uh, overlap condition, you need to have the end time of the previous interval being greater than the start time of the next interval. But here the starting and the ending is uh, same 3 and 3. So that is why this will not considered uh, this will not be considered as an overlap. Now what are the various ways of solving this problem? First way you can understand is obviously uh, the sorting approach will be used here. But the very first way of sorting would be to arrange the intervals in the sending order of the starting time because if you arrange the interval according to the uh, according to the starting time uh, then what will happen is you will be able to iterate uh, through the intervals from the, uh, left to right direction in the number line okay so let's see what we can do here if you will sort the intervals according to the starting time greedily then this will help you to minimize the count of the overlapping intervals now how, how will this happen so first we can sort the intervals by their starting value so initially you can sort the intervals based on the starting values then you can traverse the interval uh, 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 then you can do what then you can traverse the array and check if any interval has a starting point smaller than the ending point of the previous interval that is there is an overlap in case there is an overlap uh, then remove the interval with the greater endpoint now this is also important if you will see here so initially let's suppose that i'll start from this particular interval now what will happen here my current ending will be what my current ending ending will be basically two because i'm starting from this interval and initially there is no overlap so i'll mark the count initially as zero now when i go to the next interval so what do i see there i see that this interval has got a starting which is uh, lesser than uh, my ending so in end, current ending uh, is two so the interval is ending at two but the next interval that is the ith interval is starting uh, from one so this means that there is an overlap so since there is an overlap so i need to increase my counter i'll increase my counter to one now after this i can observe that this is an overlap now should i update my ending as three or should i update should i keep my ending as two only the thing is that if you read the approach here so we should do what we should uh keep the like uh ending uh 
we should keep the lesser ending with ourselves why because if these two intervals are overlapping then i'll say that okay if they are overlapping so let's consider this as 1 comma 2 interval why should we consider this as the interval 1 comma 2 because if you will consider the lesser ending uh, ending here in such a case you are saving more time you are giving more time to the other intervals such that they do not overlap because if you choose a higher ending point what will happen is uh, that higher ending point might overlap with a lot of future intervals but if you choose the lesser ending suppose if you choose 2 here which is the lesser ending in such a case the, the ending is lesser so chances of overlapping with the future intervals will be also lesser so that is why we are iterating uh, after sorting in the uh, in the ascending format of the starting time and then after that what we are doing is uh, we are like we are looking at the overlaps whenever there is an overlap so we increase the counter and we make sure that we are updating our current ending to the minimum of the two intervals that is minimum of the end time of the current interval as well as the ith interval why we take the minimum because if you take the minimum then uh, then what will happen is if you take the minimum then chances of overlap with the future intervals will be lesser but if you take the maximum one then chances of overlap of that interval with the future intervals will be higher so that is why you should choose the minimum so now you can assume that you have got one comma two here instead of uh, these two intervals now what will happen here is next up you will go to the next interval now does it overlap because for overlapping the condition is that the starting should be less but here the startings are equal so they, they are not overlapping because uh, for the condition of overlap we need to consider that the current ending is basically greater than the starting of the next interval but that is not so here so that is why there is no overlap here so what we will do is we will say that okay if there is no overlap then the current ending will update to the ending of the ith interval that is 3 here because the ending of this particular interval 2 comma 3 is 3 only then we'll go to the next interval the moment we go to the next interval now we are at 3 comma 4 interval so we will check what when we will come across this we'll check if the current ending is what if the current ending is greater than the than the starting of the next interval so that is not so so that is why we'll not consider this as an overlap and we'll say that this is fine there is no overlap here so we'll move to the next one now when we move forward then we do not have anything and you can understand that the count is still one because there was only one overlap why there was only one overlap because we considered the lesser uh, for these two intervals which were overlapping we considered the lesser ending if we would have considered three also then this interval 2 comma 3 would have also overlapped so that is the advantage that we got by taking the lesser end point and ignoring the uh, interval with the greater end point while merging or while considering the two overlapping intervals i hope you have understood this now this would take how much time complexity since you'll be sorting the uh, intervals so sorting would take order of n log n time and we will not take any extra space so that is why space complexity would be order of one so let's write this time complexity for this approach would be n log n here and the space complexity for this particular approach would be order of one i hope that this approach is clear so far with respect to sorting by starting time now let's have a look at the code also so you can see here what will happen is initially the count will be equal to zero okay then we are sorting according to the starting time we have sorted according to the starting time then initially the ending is equal to the ending uh ending of the very first starting interval the zeroth one and we'll iterate if the if what happens is if the ith interval that i'm at if it if it is having starting less than the current ending in such a case we need to update the counter and the ending will be updated with the minimum of the ending of the two intervals whichever is the minimum of the two overlapping intervals ending will take the minimum of that as i have told you then otherwise if there is no overlap then you can update the end directly to the end of the ith interval and then after this what will happen is we can simply return counter here so this is how we can code this problem up i hope you have understood basic uh, code here now after this let's consider the case where we can basically do what we can solve this again using sorting but here we can sort according to the ending time now why sorting according to the ending time would work because the idea is that we'll try to greedily keep the intervals sorted according to the earliest ending if you arrange the intervals according to the earliest ending in such a case what will happen is you will be considering those intervals which have lesser ending time and if you consider those intervals which have lesser ending time then you have more room you have more space for the future intervals so chances of overlapping would be less here 
so that is why we will we'll try to consider those intervals which have lesser ending time so we'll iterate on those intervals which have lesser ending time whose end time is lesser because if you consider those intervals whose end time is lesser in such a case you get more time for the uh, like you get uh, if you consider those intervals which have lesser ending time then those intervals are ending earlier and you get time for the future intervals uh, because there will be no overlapping uh, if you consider lesser endings then chances of overlapping with the future or the subsequent intervals would be less here so co to consider this approach think of it as trying to keep intervals short so that we can have more space for other intervals without overlap by shorting uh, by sorting according to the end time we can easily check if the next interval over overlaps with the previous one if there is an overlap then we can uh, uh, remove the interval with the later end time so basically if there is an overlap between two intervals you need to consider that interval which is having lesser ending time okay so that it does not block the future intervals it does not overlap with the future intervals and this way we can end up uh, with the minimum number of intervals uh, that we need to uh, remove okay so basic intuition is that greedily we keep the intervals that end the earliest such that this will help us to have more space for the future intervals and chances of overlaps will be lesser if you consider those intervals with the lesser endings okay now if you see so let's say we have this particular test case here and we will basically sort it according to the lesser ending time in the ascending order of the ending time now what will happen here is in this case the count would be equal to what zero okay and the current end would be what the current end would be let's say uh, two here now after this when we'll start with this interval now is there any overlap no because if you see the starting of this interval is it less than the current ending no so that is why what we can do is we can uh, proceed further and we can say that the ending will be updated to the ending of this particular interval so ending will be updated to three here so let's update the ending to three then after this what will happen we'll move to the next interval that is uh, the interval one comma four now when we come to this interval so is the is the starting of this interval lesser than the current ending yes so this means that there is an overlap that we are considering here now the moment we consider an overlap so the count will be updated to what the count would be basically updated to one here and then after that the ending will be the minimum Minimum of the two endings so minimum of uh, three and four will be nothing but three here why we take the minimum always i've told you already because if you take the minimum ending out of the two overlapping intervals then chances of overlaps with the future intervals would reduce and we need to make the, sure of that now after that we'll go to the next uh, interval that is 3 comma 5 now uh, current ending is 3 and the starting is also 3 so we will not consider this as an overlap because overlap will be considered only when the start time is lesser than the current ending so this is not there so that is why the count will still remain one here and the current ending will be three so you can see here that by um, like uh, removing one interval we will be able to complete our job here now let's consider the code also so if you will see here again we have to do what uh, we have to uh, mark the counter as zero and we are sorting according to the ending time so we are passing key is equal to lambda x colon x x1 so this indicates that we are sorting according to the ending time this ending order now after that initially the ending will be updated to the ending of the very first interval and then we'll iterate so if the starting of the ith interval is less than the ending then we increase the counter okay otherwise what you will do is you will update the ending to the ending of this ith interval if there is no overlap then you update the ending to the ending of the ith interval so this is how you can code it uh, this way the time complexity for this code would be order of uh, n log n here because we are sorting and the space complexity would also be order of one because uh, we are not using any extra space let's code the very first optimal approach that was sorting according to the starting time okay and submit it also so yeah let us submit this code now so you can see that the code is also getting accepted i hope you have understood this make sure to mention your feedback in the comments thank you for watching this video